Hello, I'm here to, today to talk to you about GCSE Maths, which is not an optional subject, but it's really important that we give you some information about the course that students will study for two years. Uh, the course is uh, split into two different tiers, foundation and higher tier. There's lots of what we call crossover content, which is content that appears in both. And there's also some specific content that will only turn up in the foundation tier and some content that is only going to be tested at the higher tier. What is really important though, is that both of the tiers are examined and assessed at the end of the two years by three 90 minute exams. So those exams, um, one of them is in non-calculated paper and that is paper one. So there's a real focus here on written methods and being able, students being able to use their numerical skills without a calculator. The second two papers, you have access to a calculator, and so therefore it's really important that students um, are practicing using with their own calculator from the very outset of the course. Um, regardless of what tier you are studying, the basic broad themes are number, algebra, shape, measure, data, probability, and statistics. So, Within the, the two different tiers, there will be different levels of content, but ultimately the, um, those overarching themes will come through in both of them. Uh, the reason for studying GCSE Maths is math, math is a very interconnected subject. It has really strong links with science, so there's lots of things that you'll study in science, and you'll also study it in maths, and lots of the concepts in maths you will revisit in science, or you'll use your numerical skills in science. Um, there's also a little bit of overlap with other subjects, such as geography, with reading uh, graphs, and looking at data. There are lots of different careers um, that uh, studying maths can um, lead you to. Um, for example, they could lead to uh, teaching. You could go into engineering, aviation, architecture. But more than that, maths is about making sure that students have numerical skills in order to be able to, to survive with everyday life. We all come up against um, using our math skills and problem solving um, what, regardless of what career we have. So it's a, they, we try to build in all of that into the course so that students feel really ready to leave school um, with the skills that they need.